Welcome to the Instant Beach Party. Woo! And I'm with the one and only Jen McAllister. Say hi. hi. Guys. So we are so excited to be here on the Saturday of VidCon. And thank you, Jen, for being with us. It's Friday? Okay, I, 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 I totally thought that. You know, I got excited and thought it was Saturday. It's Friday. Oh, it's okay. Friday? I didn't even know what day it was, honestly. I was just like, yep. Well, here we go. Let's get started with our interview, Jen. We're so excited. So we were talking backstage about how you have started filming season three yeah. of Foursome. Who watches Foursome? We're um, right and in the so middle of it, yeah. It's seriously one of our favorite YouTube Red shows. Um, can you just tell us a little bit of how filming's going and you know what you're so so excited about this season? Yeah, you guys, this season is so much fun. We're literally right in the middle of filming it. Like I came from set to here, and then I go back to set, and we're filming for the next like two months. But we're leaving the school this season, so we the group like scores trips to a winter break or scores tickets to a winter break trip and we're somewhere cool, but there's so much drama this season. It's crazy. Like, we've been doing dramatic stuff. So you guys are taking the comedy and you're twisting it, going deeper. Yeah, what it's is it like real. kind of expanding your acting into more dramatic roles? Yeah, it, it's interesting. I filmed like a very dramatic scene um, very recently, and it was like the first drama thing that I've ever done. It was really fun. I liked it. Um, but it's interesting because I've only really done comedy, so it, it's been a cool experience. When you're sort of pulling out different emotions, whether it's anger or sadness or rage, how do you kind of mentally prepare for like a scene? <laughs> do you like <laughs> punch a punching bag or do you have to like listen to sad music or what's your process? So um, it's interesting. I didn't even know what my process was going to be. I just like had the lines memorized. I got on the set. And well, I think the thing that helps so much is uh, the cast and I all have like such great chemistry with one another. So like when we're doing dramatic things, it's like so important to be like have a good relationship with that person, I feel like. Um, but I just I just somehow got myself into the mindset. I don't know. That's cool. That's cool. We'll see how it turns out. I don't know how any of this stuff looks. I like see it the same time you guys do. Speaking of cast, um, you talked backstage with me about how working with them has been such a great experience. It's helped grow you. Any fun cast memories or stories or you know insights that you have? Yeah, um, um, the cast, oh my god, it's great. I mean, as you guys know, it's me and Ricky Thompson and Logan Paul off of the internet. And then the rest of the cast are traditional actors. So it's been really cool working with traditional actors and like learning th things from them. And they learn a lot from us too. Um, like <laughs> a lot of internet lingo that like people have no idea what that means. Um, but it, funny cast stories, I don't know, we're like on set together every day for like 13 hours, so we get a little delusional at times. Uh -huh. Like you're just sitting in the same room for 13 hours. And right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. And, and like how does that relationship sort of build, like the friendships outside? Do you guys hang out with each other or is it, you know, you guys are so exhausted that you're like, I can't see you again <laughs> until the day two or what? Um, so this season is, is a lot. We're uh, filming in a cool location. Um, so we're constantly like traveling to set and then we're there. So we don't like have much free time this year, but we're really good friends. Like when we're not shooting the show, like even in the interim between seasons, we're still like hanging out with each other. And yeah, I mean, they're like some of my best friends now, which is, it's great. Um, you talked about season three. It's bigger, better, more evolved. What are, woo! <laughs> um, what are the challenges that you, uh, in terms of like raising the bar with this new season? Do you is there excitement? Is there sort of like do you feel like there's an opportunity, or do you feel like there's challenges to keep it going and to kind of entertain the fans? Yeah, you know. It's kind of scary because, you know, sometimes you'll, like, watch a show and as the seasons go along, like, you're like, oh, is this, like, it's getting a little bit downhill. Um, so it's always interesting going into a new season because I'm like, ooh, what are we going to do next? Like, how are we going to top it? Because all I do is act in it. I don't, like, have any control of, like, what we're doing or anything like that. Like, they, other people write it and produce it. Um, but, like, you guys are going to be so pleasantly surprised because I was like, season three 
it's gonna be hard to like top the previous two, but like we definitely are for sure. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So excited. Um, so we asked you guys out there to send us questions, and so uh, Dang McAllister wants to know. Uh, what was your favorite episode or scene of Foursome to film? Um, ever? Out of the past two seasons? Past two seasons, yeah. yeah. Okay, my favorite episode, I think, was season two, episode four. I think it's four. Sometimes they change the episodes around. The earthquake episode. Um, I love that one. I also like the episode in season one where we all do drugs. <laughs> um, but I like those two in particular because um, those are episodes where me and the foursome are like trapped in one place together. And it's so fun like shooting with those other three guys. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just really liked doing it and I liked how they turned out too. I love it. Hi. <laughs> um, they also want to know what is your favorite music album of all time? I mean, oh seeing all your Spotify God. playlists. <laughs> I literally love music way too much. Um, my favorite, my favorite artist ever is you guys know Ellie Goulding, and then my other favorite artist is Banks. So I think her most recent album is like probably my favorite artist, uh, my favorite album of all time. I like I, still am listening to it constantly. The Crowded Places song? Yeah. Yes, I love that very, song. Very, very good. <laughs> so emotional. <laughs> um, okay, we have another question from OK McAllister. Uh, what's... Hey. Woo, uh, what's your favorite VidCon memory out of all the years you've been? And you've talked to me about this is your fifth year? Yeah, I think so. I, my first year was 2012. And so, like, I think that was five years ago. Um... <laughs> My favorite memory, oh my god. How long have you guys been going to VidCon? Like, second year? Okay, so like, you guys know if you've been a couple years, it like, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so it's crazy, every year is like, just topping the last. But I think my favorite memory was, I don't even know what year this was, but one year me, Jack, and Anthony were like going up the escalator and like for some reason everyone in the room just like started like running in and it was like a crazy <laughs> mob. Pandemonium. It was insane. <laughs> I don't know why or how or what, but that was like an insane moment. Got it, cool. Um, and so, you know, we talked about Obviously, as you're growing as a content creator, uh, you're evolving your YouTube channel, um, but you're also now transitioning into bigger projects, especially your acting. Uh, what's the biggest difference between acting and then also being yourself, your YouTube, <laughs> like, personal self with your fans? Yeah. Um, oh, my God. It's so different. Because I'm just, like, sitting on stage here just talking like myself and, like, the same I would do in a video or something. So, um... I don't know, I'm just being myself, but then when it comes to acting, like, there's things that, like, I would never, ever, ever do or ever say, like, ever, but I have to do it anyway. So uh, you just have to, like, get yourself into this different headspace of, like, I am this person who would do this. <laughs> For your character on Foursome, what, what's one similarity to who you are and then the biggest, like, dissimilarity to who you are? Um. Uh, I always say the biggest similarity between my character and I is like the close knit group of friends that she has because um, when I was in high school and now I have like a very close group of friends um, who I always go to for advice and she's kind of the same way like she's always going to them for advice even when it's like too much and she's annoying <laughs> um, but biggest difference uh, there's a lot of differences between my character and I. First of all, like, I don't have any siblings, so, like, the whole plot of the show is the fact that I have an older brother who's, like, ruining my life. Um, she's really awkward, which could also be a sim similarity to me, but also, like, she's, like, it's crazy awkward, so, um, that's a lot. And, um, she's just, like, I don't know. She she's different in, in weird ways. Like she has different lingo that is like I was like I would never say any of this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> love that. Love that. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, so if you had to pick, uh, you know, on your YouTube channel, three of your favorite videos that you've ever done, <laughs> what would they be and why? Okay, um, my favorite video I've ever done is my room tour video, if you guys have seen that video. <laughs> it's 
so fun to do. Um, I also like the video, the two videos I did with Hunter March, the Tinder tag videos. Those are really fun. Um, what else? I like any video I film with Ricky Dillon because he is Ricky. so <laughs> fun. He's like my best friend, and so whenever you're filming a video with like your best friend, it's like the best time ever. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We see Ricky always popping up on your Instagram. Yeah. Like, what's the, what's the fun fun thing about your friendship? What's the most fun thing about your friendship? Ricky is just like so like organically himself, and like just such a good time. He's like never in a bad mood. He's just always like lifting everyone's spirits. Um, and I've just known him for so long now, and we're still just such good friends. I think like having a connection with someone for so long just like makes it such a great friendship. And you guys are both doing the same thing, so you get to yeah. connect with each other. Exactly. Um, so, do you remember the first time you uploaded a video on YouTube? Yes. You yes. Do? yes. Okay. Cool. So, <laughs> if you could give yourself some advice. Before you hit that upload button back then, and I guess for everyone now who's sort of in the process of starting their channels, what advice would you give them? Um, my advice that I'd give to myself is to not delete my videos because <laughs> when I first started posting on YouTube, when people like found out about my channel when I was in high school, um, I like went on my channel and just like started deleting everything because I was like so like people were making fun of me and I was so embarrassed. But in retrospect, I'm so mad at myself for doing that because now I don't have those videos anymore and I wish I did. And also who cares? Like genuinely who cares? So that's my advice is don't like delete things or stop doing things because of other people and like what they think about it. Because at the end of the day, like their opinion does not matter at all. Do you remember what you were doing in those videos that you deleted? <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of them, unfortunately. Um, so like a lot of different things. I remember I made like a, I don't know if anyone in this room has seen this, um, but like a music video to like Candyman by Christina Aguilera. Did like anyone definitely see the Candyman music it. video? It had like actually 10 views. Oh and then God. I like deleted it immediately. <laughs> but like just random like stuff like that. I love that, I love yeah. that. Um, so tell us, you know, we're smack dab in the middle, summer has just started, uh, what's in store for you in 2017? Oh my god. Um, well right now, since I'm doing foursome, it's like my whole life. So that's my summer. I turned 21, like, in two weeks. Woo! I don't know, so that's happening in 2017, um, which is crazy. And you know how you're going to celebrate? Are you going to have a party? <laughs> I'm going to be working. On okay, course. <laughs> that's a great way to celebrate. <laughs> but I'm honestly excited to be like surrounded by all those people on my birthday, so it'll be really fun. Um, but yeah, I guess maybe I'll have a postponed celebration after cool. we're done. Um, what else? I'm working on a lot of secret things that uh, we'll probably, you guys will hear about later, but um, I know Foursome, even though we're filming it right now, will come out later in 2017 at the end of the year. So you guys can really look forward to that. Um, outside of making videos, what is your favorite thing to do with other YouTubers or your other YouTube friends? My personal favorite thing to do is to go to the beach. I probably go like every single weekend. <laughs> I just love going there. Um, what else do I do with my friends? I don't know. My friends and I just like hang out and do like lame things, like go to Dave and Buster's. <laughs> so like, um, just hanging out with them. Uh, but I'm I'm very much a homebody, so I'm like usually in my house a lot. Nice. As you guys yeah, probably know. The, the best type of friends are the ones that you can just be in each other's space and not need to. Yeah, exactly. We literally just like sit around and hang out. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, uh, are you in any sort of like group chats with any of your friends? Yeah. What what emojis do you think you use the most? Okay, should I look? Yeah. I know for a fact that all of the emojis I use, like the face, oh my god, there's a bunch right there's here. There's emojis here, so yeah. you can like show the audience. if The ones I use literally usually look like this, um, <laughs> or this. Like, honestly, the mad ones. I was gonna say, I know for a fact all the face emojis I use are like the ones where, like, the rolling your eye emoji or like the steam coming out of your nose. I don't know why I'm so mad all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love the crying one and then the one where he has his, like, oh, the chin. thinking one. My favorite one is, uh, wait, oh my god, I can't even remember. Can I look? Is that allowed? Yeah, okay, let's see what I'm using right now. Uh, 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 uh. uh. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's all the mad ones. I really like the one where it's just like, <laughs> why do I like this? I was going to say I like the one where the frown, the like hard frown. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Do you know right. what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Cool, cool. And also the dog emoji a lot recently. Because yes. it happens to look just like my dog. Yes. So I tell don't us know about why. your dog. Yeah. Tell us about Finn. Like, Finn, he's the here. Most he's here? Yeah, Woo! he's at VidCon, but he's not here here. Um, he's being watched right now. But <laughs> How is it here. being a dog mother? <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, my God. I'm so in love. And uh, he's a lot of work. He's, like, actually, like, a baby. Right. Yeah. But um, some of you guys have met him. I've been carrying him around, so maybe you'll see him. Does Finn get to come to set with you? <laughs> he sometimes? hasn't been yet, but he's going to visit. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's just, um, he's actually just now allowed out of the house because, you know, puppies have right, to get all right. their shots yeah. first. Mm -hmm. So, like, this is his first big outing. Oh, he went to the beach. That was his first big outing. Oh, But so now cute. he's here, so he'll come to set soon. I love it. I love <laughs> it. What do you, what do you think? Do you use your dog to, like, you know, um, I use mine personally for, like, a therapy dog. So, like, when I am feeling bad or whatever, cuddling with him, yeah. like, what what does your dog give you? Oh, my God, same thing. I love cuddling my dog. He's so snuggly. and um, But he bites a lot of things right now. And he's such a stereotypical dog. Like, he literally rips papers apart. Like, if I was still in high school, he would eat my homework for sure. And then he also eats my slippers, which is also so he tears very it up, right. stereotypical <laughs> dog. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and so you've been traveling a lot, you know, in the recent months. Uh, yeah. How, you had a trip to Italy. Yeah, I went to a bunch of places in oh, Europe. Different places in Europe. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about traveling and just if you're yes. excited to travel to many more places? Oh my God, I up? love traveling. I never like. Growing up, I never went anywhere. Like, my family didn't really go on vacation. Um, so now that I'm older and I have some opportunities to go on trips, I've been trying to take advantage of it. So this year, I wanted to go to Europe because before I went, I had only been, I mean, I went to London. But other than that, like, that's pretty much it. So um, I went to Amsterdam, Berlin, Prague, Salzburg, Venice. I went to Cannes in France. I went to Amsterdam again. Um, and it was the best experience ever. So wh what places were your favorite food? Amsterdam is like a fan fave for me. And Venice I love a lot. Um, both so great. But I nice. want to go to more places. I'm actually going to VidCon in Australia Ooh. this September, if any of you are from Anyone's Australia. Anyone's going to VidCon in Australia? I met someone Maybe? from Australia, but I don't know how many of you guys Probably none of you. Absolutely none of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is your VidCon. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I'm going there. I've never been before, so I'm really excited. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. What, um, what was your sort of biggest memory that stuck out from you when traveling in Europe? Wow. Um, biggest memory? I think I traveled from each country by train, and I took a couple of overnight trains. So you're, like, literally sleeping nice. as you're going to another country. Right. And it was so beautiful. Because there's just Love like that. a huge window and then a bed right, and you're right, in a right, little right. room. And so you're just like looking out the window as you're going by like the countryside. It was beautiful. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Um, so we have this uh, franchise with Instant and we call it Social Media Horror Story. Do you have any funny or embarrassing social media fails or almost sent something that you didn't need to or? Hmm, I don't know. I honestly, I don't want to jinx myself. I don't know if I've ever accidentally like tweeted or posted anything, knock on wood. Um, I've gotten like hacked. Yeah, that's kind of a horror oh story, Oh my right? gosh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Were you able to like get back onto your account before um, anything bad happened? No, it was like a huge hack. Um, but I got all my stuff back, obviously, here I am. But um, it was crazy. Um, like everything that I had right. on social media was like completely everything. hacked. Yeah, got it, it got was it, crazy. Got it. So that's pretty horrific. <laughs> um, and so you know, obviously, like the internet's a great place to like build your community. What's the advice that you would say, um, you know, when you're reading comments and you're learning more about your fans and your audience and um, how to kind of stay away from the negativity but focus on, you know, building your channel and building your identity online. Yeah, um, it can definitely be difficult to not focus on negative comments for some reason. Um, but I think it's just a matter of, like, learning to laugh at them and to think about, like, 
Like, what goes through the person's mind who is, like, sitting there and they're like, you suck. You know what I mean? Like, who sits on the computer and types that? Right. It's some, like, it's more their problem than my problem. So I think if you just, like, keep that in mind um, and also think about the fact that you're probably getting so many, like, great comments, like, a hundred great comments for one bad comment. Right, right, right. So to focus on all the good ones. It, it takes time, though. I've been posting videos for, like, eight years. So I'm definitely used to it by now. Awesome, yeah. awesome. We have a couple more questions that we're going to do. This is called our TMI jar. Ooh. So let's okay. pull out some Scary. questions up here. Okay, who is your, when you, as a child, who was your first celebrity crush? <laughs> My, this is so, I don't know. Um, I was obsessed with Pirates of the Caribbean growing up. I had a huge crush on both Orlando Bloom and Johnny Depp. And I had posters <laughs> of them all over my walls. I literally had, like, so much, like, Pirates of the Caribbean merch. I don't know why. I was obsessed with them. They're not even, like, young. They were, like, old men. Right, right, right. And I was, like, a, like a, in a... I, I feel like Orlando <laughs> Bloom and Johnny Depp, they, they had the sexy pirate thing yeah, going on. Yeah, you know, like, I was into it. Um, okay, so what, do you have a worst habit? A worst habit. Uh, I know I do. Why can I not think of this? Um, uh, I don't bite my nails, so that's not something that I do. Oh, you know, I bite my lip sometimes. Yeah. And like, you know what I mean? Oh, when it like peels. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's annoying. Um, okay, well, this fits, you know, for uh, foursome and everything. What's your most embarrassing school memory? My most embarrassing school memory? I think I talked about this. I, like, got stung by bees on my way to the, my first day of junior year. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I literally got stung by bees, and I thought I was so cool because my friend was picking me up, and we were, like, driving to school for the first time instead of taking the bus. But, like, as I was getting into her car, like, I got stung by, like, a bunch of bees. And then I had to go right to the nurse's office when I got to school. It was, like, a major buzzkill. Where were the, where's the bee stings? Like, it was everywhere? just on my legs, okay. but I was, like... I just, I was late to my first period. You know, you're trying to make a good impression on the right. first day of school. I was late, and I, like, came in with, like, ice packs. Oh, my God, what a dork, right? <laughs> um, the, okay, so this one's kind of deep. It's weird. If Ooh. you could make one wish right now, what would it be? Ooh, it is kind of deep. If I tell you guys what my wish is, doesn't it not I know, come true? It, like, kind of de defeats the purpose. I know. Um, what would my one wish be? My one wish is you guys all watch season three of Foursome. <laughs> <laughs> Will you guys make that wish come true? Please watch it, because it's so fun. It's so fun. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let me do one more question. Uh, oh, this is good. Uh, what do you think is your greatest accomplishment thus far? My greatest accomplishment... Uh, for me personally, I think is writing a book, because it's something that I've always wanted to do. And it's really crazy to me that I've already got the opportunity to do it. Right. And it's been out for, like, I think two years now, which is also crazy. Um, but, yeah, that was a, a bucket list item for me. So it's, nice. a, it's a huge accomplishment for me. Any, any immediate bucket lists that you're hoping to, to break through? Um, I want to, like, create my own show. So hopefully cool. that's something that will happen in the future. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much yeah, for being here at VidCon. It's Friday, day two, not Saturday. Thanks um, for coming, guys. We know. We'll see you more. Thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs>